All right, we're back again today with another review. Uh, before I get started, kind of just want to throw a little shout out to my own dad. Uh, this uh, this review is for you. I know uh, we both enjoy the GI Joe line, and so you know, just kind of wanted to do this and and, and uh, give you a little shout out here on on the internet. So um, you know, let's get started with uh, Flint from uh, Sideshow Collectibles One Six Scale GI Joe line. I got the exclusive version of Flint because he's a uh, as uh, some of my uh, compadres on the Freaks board, you know, I wanted to be elite like you guys, so I, I rolled and got the exclusive version. I'll tell you what the exclusive item is when uh, I get Flint set up. So let me get him set up here, and we. All will right, start. back with Flint, uh, the exclusive version, limited to 650 pieces. Uh, Flint comes in at 125 dollars, which is, you know, the standard price for the GI Joe line. Uh, he's really super well done. Um, detailing is really good. Um, paint is really well done overall. Skin tone actually is really, really good. Uh, gripes with the paint would have to be the lips. Um, if I can get in there, I don't know how well. Say hello, Flint. Uh, Lips are a little grayish, maybe. I don't, they're not, not as great as I'd like them to be. Um, but, uh, no, not bad, not bad. Uh, main gripe actually is the hairline on this guy. Um, would have liked to seen a little bit more detail put in the hair. I realized that, um, you know, they've got to, you know, make the hair work with the hat because the the beret is it go actually goes over the top, you know, over his head. It's not sculpted on, so I, you know they had to do work with that. I just would like to see a little bit more detail. I actually, look like there's hairlines in it. They're real subtle. Um, uh, there's the watch that he comes with. It's one of the accessories. Uh, so that that's my gripe. The hairline actually looks really good in person. It's not not as bad as I had feared by. Uh, you know, the uh, pictures that were initially posted by Darth Cruel, sorry, sorry, uh, DC, but yeah, those pictures were, you know, I know you, you gave a preface, but they did kind of scare me a little bit that maybe something was wrong with one of my favorite G.I. Joe characters. Uh, you got the, you know, the, his harness here with the shotgun shells, I'll fix that a little bit. Um, that probably was the biggest pain to set up. That took forever for this particular side. Uh, they just, they don't, you, you're going to have to take your time with them and work. You might actually, I actually used a toothpick to expand the slots uh, so they would fit a little bit better. The right-hand side, they just worked out fine. There's one of the frag grenades um, that he comes with you, three of those. Uh, so, you know, he, he's got plenty of stuff. Belt buckle, he's got, you know, uh, molded on bullets, which are okay. Uh, there's some of the patches. Uh, you've got water bottle here, uh, smoke grenade, other four of the shotgun shells. And I'll lift that up so you can see it. Um, there's 24 shotgun shells that he comes with. 20 of them fit on the um, uh, harness. The other four I stuck back there. You can actually put the uh, pistol clips there. He comes with four pistol clips, three that aren't in the gun, and then obviously one that is because you can't foot, put four in a, in a gun. There's the other smoke grenade, uh, other water bottle, some of the other patches. That's there's the holster for the 45 sawed-off shotgun, which is actually the exclusive uh, accessory for Flint on this particular. And that's why I opted to be um, elite on Flint because the sawed-off shotgun really was quite a must-have for me. Uh, I just I don't know. I kind of like realistic weapons as far as that goes so if it had been something kind of more fantasy I might have opted to go go regular but um, opted to be elite on on Flint uh, there's the belt buckle Let's see if I can't zoom in and get a decent picture of it with the with the phone here um, it's not badly done it doesn't look too bad uh, like I said there's the shotgun shells there's Flint uh, I'll take. I'll show you a picture on on the video here, uh, without the beret on at the end. Uh, Flint's from Wichita, Kansas. 
for anybody who doesn't know anything about the character. Uh, that's actually just a couple hours away from where I live. Uh, you know, and so it's nice with him and Duke actually being from this neck of the woods, having characters that uh, are from your from your area. Um, let's see if uh, if I'm forgetting anything here. I'll show you the other guns here in a minute. Uh, I mentioned the the 45, the four mags, the smoke grenades, the 24 shotgun shells. Um, he's got three sets of hands, so you can you could have you know you can create your your matches there. Um, just uh, like I said, just four. Just it's a really super great figure. I love the GI Joe line. Uh, it's probably of the current six go lines. It's probably my favorite. Uh, Till you know, I, I, if Sideshow brings back the dead, that's definitely that'll definitely jump right back up there in the mix. But um, it's just a really great line. I mean, they pack it with so much stuff. I've said it before. Uh, I'll say it again with the with the line. It, it, it's equal to how, what Hot Toys is doing as far as gear and setup. Would like to see a little bit more consistency overall with the paint tabs, a little bit more realistic uh, texture to everything. I mean, the paint looks real, makes it look real when it's sitting on your shelf. People won't notice it, but I would like to see maybe opt for a little bit more of the Hot Toys approach. Outfit's really well done. Um, it's a really great figure. I'll, I'm a, let me get the uh, weapons here before I forget that. I swear I will. Um, here's the laser, uh, the laser gun. Really, you know, it's really cool. Same one that you get with Duke. Uh, you know, so you might have a couple of those now if you if you've gotten both. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. Uh, then you've got the single point shotty. Um, really it's really neat it's got the the sling on it that you can you know if you have him holding it the uh you've got you know here it slides back and forth so I, and the actually the sawed off does that as well um it's kind of it, it's neat that they you know put all these features in because it, it makes it it makes it kind of realistic uh sight goes back and forth um i don't know how well you can see that and then actually the stock back here goes back and forth. So pretty cool. Um, I almost used this particular gun, but I decided to go uh, with the sawed off shotgun on Flint. Actually, I, I have one gripe that I just thought about. I was I really kind of wanted to go with him holding the sawed off shotgun and then the pistol in the left hand. Flint does not have a hand that really holds the pistol very well in the left hand. So, I would like to see, you know, hand, a right hand and a left hand that can hold guns in case you wanted to do dual wielding guns uh, in the future. So, Sideshow, that would be something that I, I would definitely like to see you work on. Uh, yeah, it's a great figure, guys. Um, $125 for the exclusive. I think the regular is like $5, $10 cheaper. I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but... Get this figure. It's great. Support the G.I. Joe line because it really does a great job of, of harkening back to the cartoon from the 80s. For most of us that, you know, that were kids that, that collected the toys then, played with the toys. And um, it's also a nice uh, blend with the new IDW uh, series that they have out. We re kind of rebooting the, you know, the G.I. Joe comics. And so it goes great with those. And you know, if you're a fan of the military, you know... And, you know, like with those, you know, obviously support the troops and, and what those guys and, and, and you know, gals are, are given to this country. You know, it's a nice homage to them, too, and, you know, just some of the gear and stuff that they're using. So, uh, it's a great figure, guys. I, I probably, you know, repeated that three or four times at least already. But uh, make sure you grab this if you're a fan. Uh, you know, like I said, great figure. Um, that's it for this particular review. You can check out the pictures and, and, and the review uh, besides on my YouTube channel, uh, on at, at the Pulse, uh, crazycollecting.wordpress.com is the web address. Thanks again, guys, for checking it out. Till next time, later. Okay, um, actually, one small edit. Uh, as I was putting this together, I kind of forgot to show you the sculpt without the beret on. So, uh, kind of get an idea of what he looks like um, with uh, without the beret on. Uh, that's you, you can see the one of the Cobra 
Cobra guys in the background kind of back out here and you can there's a couple of uh, there's Duke and, and, and Flint but alright I forgot that as I was getting ready to put this together and wanted to make sure I I showed you that since I mentioned it but uh thanks again guys for checking it out